A local woman on a fixed income shells out big bucks to a contractor for work that just wasn't done right. And this isn't the first time we've come across this guy. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram back on the job to get answers. Jen. Ladies, we tracked down this contractor back in January and he did make good on his word, giving back more than $3,000 he took for a job that he never completed. But it looks like he's back at it again. Here I am in this hot weather. I've been just keeping the house closed up and you know, doing the best I can. With temps in the 80s these days, a 67-year-old Ann Holdreth says staying inside her Royal Oak home has not been easy. I have no air conditioning. She says she hired George Ebert to fix her AC unit about two weeks ago. And she says she trusted him because he replaced her furnace last winter without any problems. How much were you charged? $1,800. But Ms. Holdreth says she knew something wasn't right immediately after the new AC system was put in. I said it doesn't feel any cooler than what's been blowing out all day just from the basement. And they said, oh, it'll take time to cool down. So they left. It never worked. Since she says she's been calling and leaving messages for Mr. Ebert, but nothing. That's when she called us. Somebody had emailed me um, a link to the interview that you had done with him back in January. We're familiar with Mr. Ebert. I'm Jennifer with Channel 7. We knocked on his door back in January after this Vietnam vet called us saying he paid him over $3,000 to install a hot water tank and AC unit. Problem then, he didn't show up to do the work after he was paid. But after we visited him, he promised to return the money. And in just a few days, he did. I didn't think it was going to happen. We tried to track him down again today, first at his home. Mr. Ebert? No one was there. Then at an address listed for his business. We were told he's no longer there, but several people have showed up looking for him for the same reason. I want to see myself reimbursed so that I'm not out any money, and I want to see an air conditioning unit that works. Ms. Holdreth says that she's been calling other companies to try to get her AC fixed, but they're telling her it's going to cost about 800 bucks more than what she already paid. And I live on Social Security, okay. so I don't have extra money to throw away. And we also emailed George Ebert. We're hoping he gets in contact with us and makes this all right like he did earlier this year. In the meantime, Ms. Holdreth says she's going to do all she can to stay cool. Ladies. All right, man. I hope you get to the bottom of that for her. Thank you so much, Jennifer.